I am going to be doing a quick slideshow, um, kind of just showing how to get it started and everything like that. And then I'm actually going to be showing you around our Google business suite um, for the office and the brokerage. Um, so we've got multiple ones that we can look at. Um, and then this is kind of just a time to really poke around with yours, um, maybe start getting it set up. If you don't already have it set up, uh, I can be here to answer questions. It's a very in-depth thing. So we're not gonna be able to cover all of it today. And we absolutely can come and have another one at another point or anything like that. Um, just cause it, it does encompass so much. It's basically everything Google all in one, but this is gonna be the main place that we're gonna wanna start for our business because this is where we control the details of our business when people Google us. Um, so kind of just before we get started, uh, can I get a couple nods and maybe a couple yeses or thumbs up from people? Um, does anyone already have their Google business stuff set up? You do at least a little bit? Maybe. No. I don't no. know. It looks, like, it looks like it's like a 50-50. So some of us do, some of us don't. <laughs> no, I do not. Um, okay. Um, so that's fine. That's perfect. Um, so I see everybody is on obviously some type of a computer for this. Um, so the best bet is going to be to follow along with me. And I'll actually start with, um, before I go through the slideshow that shows how to set it up, I will show you where to click to start that process so that everybody kind of can follow along with me. And if you haven't done any of it, then you can kind of get started on it. And then if you have, after we get through the slideshow part, once we're poking around, we can kind of just see what ours has going on, um, what you might feel yours is missing, and then just really any questions or any of that type of stuff that you might have. Um, so as you read, it, you probably heard that Google My Business is pretty important. And like I mentioned earlier, it is actually the main place where you put in all the information that anybody that Googles you will see. And this is anything from reviews to time, to contact information, to where you appear on a map. Um, so it's kind of the all encompassing of what you need really specifically from Google. Obviously, along with the Google suite, there's all the other stuff of like YouTube and slideshows and all the other things. And we don't really need to worry about any of that stuff because right now we just wanna make sure that our business is shown up on Google search, is shown up on the map, and that we have the correct information set into it so we can kind of take hold of that. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Oh, I apologize, I wanna show you first. So like I said, if you do not have your Google started yet, so when you sign on, your Google might look like this. Actually, mine's probably a little bit fancy. So it probably looks like this. It's probably just your open Google search. Um, and you can do this if you use Chrome, this is gonna be your homepage. If you do not use Chrome, you can get it, just go to google.com. If you're signed in, then up on the top right-hand side up here, it's gonna have your photo and it's gonna say Gmail and any of your other kind of little things. And then there's this little Google apps button that we're gonna to wanna to click on. And if you don't have this, or if you aren't signed in, you can click the button up here to sign in up on the top. And then you're also able to actually, you could, this sounds silly, but you can Google business suite. Because everything within Google is Googleable. So I can actually Google it and it'll take me to it. But otherwise we're gonna click on these nine dots right up here in that corner. And then, for me, it's down right here. Um, it, for some people, it might be up right here, up at the top. But it's going to look like a little house with a G on the bottom right-hand side. And once I click that, it should pop up with something like this. Stand out with your Google business profile. And we're gonna click manage now. And then for me, it's gonna be blank because we don't have anything. So to start the process, we'll hit add business and we'll add a single business. And then you're gonna type your name in there. And the reason that you type your name in there, and this is kind of where this gets a little bit funky. And this is one of the important reasons why we're having this class is that you wanna put your name of your exact business and 
if somebody out there already has it for whatever reason, there's a lot of them already made out there. I've had to actually take Remax professionals from one or two people. Um, so when you guys are putting in your business name, the best bet is going to be so for like Roberta, um, if you wanted to include Remax professionals in your business name, you're going to want to put Roberta Voss Remax professionals um, or some variation of that. It can't just be the brokerage name, partially because you're not the brokerage. And also you guys do not want to handle the brokerage stuff. Nobody wants to be handling anything that's not yours. So your best bet is to put in your business name exactly how you want it, but make sure it's a variation of that. So if you want to include Remax professionals, you can, but your name should still be the focus of it. Um, and then from here, I, since I'm, I can't do it. Alex, oh. I'm not, I'm not Shannon, the, the broker, but I think we probably all from and chime in here, my other seasoned people, I think you probably do have to have Remax professionals on there just because it needs to be clear and prominent that who you're who you're working with. So that's anybody else broker comments on that chime in, but I think you probably do have to have Remax professionals in there. Most likely some type of a variation of it. It just can't be probably the main Remax professional. Exactly right. Thank you, Sarah. So, um, and so hold on. You just typing like where it says search Ellen Baker Remax professionals. Mm -hmm. Is that what we're typing? Yeah. Yeah. So you would just be typing your actual business name to get it. Um, and it can pop up. Mine is just Danielle Martinez, comma, Remax Professionals. That's my business name. Perfect. Yep. Um, and if it's not in here, so if, should you type it and then not find it or anything like that, you will just click the add business button, which is great. Um, this is actually preferred. If you find it and you have to reclaim it from somebody, that's kind of a pain in the butt of a process. So best bet is actually to click that add business button right here. And then we're off to the races. So if you for sure have not signed in or done any of this type of stuff, this is actually where you should start. So you click the add business button. And then this is where you would do your business name. So Ellen, like you said, you would do Ellen Baker. I do see that you've already got uh, the Ellen Baker team. Okay, well, I don't see that, so I'm messing up. You know, I did ride the short bus, so you guys got to bear with me. Is that? I no, you're good, you're good. I don't know that that's her, though, because that's not an address that we have. And well, Ellen, was that when you, the Lake Pleasant Park, Parkway, was that the other Remax office? Yeah. Okay. So when I type in Ellen Baker, yeah, I'm not there. So I'm going to type Remax Professionals, right? No, no. So that's where, okay. Um, I believe that you are still on this page right here. So go ahead and click this add your business to Google button right below it. Okay. And then from there, start typing in your business name. And when I type in Ellen Baker Remax professional, I see that you are good and you are able to create this as your business. And we can see some of the other suggestions. I see Cindy Clark up here, Todd Miniman. I don't see prof I don't see me on professionals yet, but that's okay. This is so if you're at this page, this is actually us adding it to it. So we don't want to find you on here yet, if that makes sense. Okay. Now in business category, we're just putting real, real estate? Yes. And you can do real, if you start typing it in, you'll see a variation of it pop up. There's real estate consultant, real estate attorney, real estate agents, real estate agency. Um, so for the brokerage, we are real estate agency. You would just put real estate agents. Okay. Then hit next. Yep, then hit next. And here I can actually go to the slides because I think we're at this point now. Um, so I'm gonna do this because I can't create obviously my own business because I am not a Alex Timmons. Actually, I guess, uh, no, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> am I supposed to be in workspace? <laughs> uh, no, I don't believe so. <laughs> okay, so. I followed you and it keeps taking me to uh, workspace. Can you, here, do you mind showing me real quick? Um, I will actually, yeah, we allow screen share. So you can go ahead and if you don't mind clicking the share screen button and we'll kind of just see where you're at real quick. Uh, where do I find that? 
Um, if you go to the bottom of Zoom, there should be a green arrow that says share screen. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm not, I'm, we probably can't see it then. Look for the little, it looks like a file folder with a green arrow. Oh, I see well, that. And you, well, and you're on your, okay, you're on your uh, other computer, right? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Um, so yeah, so it should kind of just be looking something like this. When you say that you, it takes you into workspace, does that mean that you click manage now and it just takes you to something else? Well, I went to, okay. I went to google.com, right? Uh-huh. Okay. And it said to click on the little dots uh -huh. and go to search. Oh, no, you don't have to go to search. So when you're up right here, go ahead and look at my screen. Okay. So when you're here, when you're here, after you click on the three dots, click on this little house button that says business profile. Okay, I don't have one of those. If you scroll down a little bit, you don't see one anywhere. Uh uh. Some, Forms, sometimes yeah. they get a little bit lost. Classroom, keep, crawl, photos, contracts. No, I do not have one. Hmm. interesting everyone should um so do you have count. a yours are you signed in for sure uh i think so yeah it says manage your google account okay um yeah so click on those and then if you need go ahead and just search google business login and it should pop up And actually, if I click it, it takes me to this exact same page. Okay, it, it takes me to the main search page. So I just go to Google Business Profile. Yeah, that's okay. So start searching Google Business Login um, and okay, do, that exa do that exact phrase. Okay, so sign in. Yep, and then there should be- Okay, all righty. I would say you should find a, it should have a result that says Google Business Profile, get listed on Google. Um, there might even be a couple of other buttons like business profile, Google My Business. They're, fr they're other just names of the same thing. And then from here, you'll either sign in or hit manage. Okay, I, found, I'm, I got here. For, okay, I got here. I don't know how oh, I got here, but I got here. Good. Hey, that's all that matters, right? Okay. I'm right there. Then, there. Cool. Perfect. So, yes. So, once we're, once we hit that manage now button, it's going to take us to here. And then on the top right hand side, we're going to click the add business button, add single business. And then from there, your, our best bet is going to be to click that add your business to Google button. Okay, I got to there. Where did you? You're okay. No, so right here, are you on the page that says find and manage your business? No. I. I'm on the page that says start building your business profile. Uh, does it look like this? It might have, it might look like this. Debbie, are you using Chrome or are you using Safari or Explorer? No, I, I went into Google. Are you, so you're on Chrome? Uh, yeah, probably. Sounds like she's got uh, some issues. Maybe Alex, you could jump on and do a share screen with her. Something, something's not right. <laughs> she, she's got us on a different computer than she's on. So ah. she can't, she can't share her screen for it. Okay. Um, but Let's it's okay. Keep going and I'll, I'll uh... Yeah, no worries, Debbie. And it, um, as always, if anybody feels like you're left behind or anything like that, I can absolutely help after this. So okay. feel free to follow along. Um, if you feel like you got stuck or anything like that, that's fine. Just email me and I'll hop on with you after. You guys know that I'm pretty easy with this type of stuff. Okay. The, the goal is for everybody to get caught up. So we'll get everyone to the same spot. Don't worry. Um, and then for a couple of you guys that hopped on a little bit later, uh, Jen, Monique, and everybody, um, I was saying that we're going through my Google business suite. So I don't know if you were able to follow along to this point. Um, but I was kind of just showing how we get to the initial spot. And that can either be you just go to Google 
Um, if you're in Chrome, then it's already probably going to look like this right when you sign in. And then you're going to click those buttons that are all the little dots on the top right hand side next to your profile. And then from there, you're going to click the little house button that says business profile. And once you do that, it'll take you to here. Um, and you'll, you'll click manage now. And then it'll probably look blank. And if it does, we're going to hit add business on the right hand side and then add a single business. And then that takes us to here. We can either search to see if the business exists already or let's just add a new one. Our best bet is going to be to add the correct one. If you find a business that says that it's you, but it is not yours, you can take it at a later date. So you do not have to worry about going through that process right now. Again, the idea with this is that we just wanna make sure that what we want right now is up there. If you happen to find other profiles and all that type of stuff, we can, we'll take it back at a different date. Um, that's a funky little process. And then from here, you're gonna type in your business name and the category is gonna be real estate agent. And then I'm going to switch to a slide so that I can kind of show you guys along. And I've got pictures of it, so you should be able to see the screen, what it looks like. Um, so is there a way to change it from agency to agent? Yeah, it should be, um, there should be a real estate agent option. So it will say plural, but it just means that you're part of that category. So mine's already set up. Okay. This is real estate agency. And okay. I went in to edit it and there's no way to edit that. It's trying to keep you stuck as it. Yeah. Okay, we, we can play around with it a little bit further. Okay. Um, okay. Well, and that's where, so that's what I was saying. This is, it's a very big business suite and there's a lot of like weird little yeah. nicks and crannies and bells and whistles. So there's, it's one of those things that we're, we'll get this set up, but everyone's going to have a lot more questions right. and there's going to be a lot of stuff that we can do with it. Yeah. Um, so we can plan on doing a kind of Google business um I mean, and I don't want to call it a mastermind, but we can actually kind of do this a little bit regularly to make sure people are having a good hand on their Google profile and stuff like that. Um, and it's an organic thing. So we'll do this. And then they actually want you to come in here and continually do stuff. That's what a big part of this is keeping your business up to date on the internet. And that's everything from, I know you guys obviously are individual agents. So like your business hours are different than like our brokerage and stuff like that but you actually wanna put that out there. And um, you can put like always open and that's an option. You can put, if you're take a holiday off type of thing and then it'll post for you and it'll show up on Google if people search you on like a holiday, all that type of stuff. So um, there's gonna be a lot of room for continuing education on this. So don't worry, we'll cover stuff today and then we absolutely will come back to this and keep doing deep dives in different aspects of it. Hey, Alex. Um, yeah. It says of this course. is your business and it goes to Remax Professionals slash Ellen Baker and it's got the address, but it doesn't have my phone number, the right okay. phone number. Okay. It said um it's asking you, is this your business? You said? Yes. Yeah. So that means that it one already exists out there and you can click yes and then you'll begin the process of reclaiming it. Um the process of reclaiming it is usually just it wants to verify that it's you. And that could be even just the verification process is usually actually just a letter in the mail um, where they'll verify your address and verify that it's you. Um, so go ahead and click yes. I mean, if it is you and you want to start that process, click yes, and then we can get it rolling because to claim the business, it can take like a week or so sometimes. Yes, that is, and I got, it's like literally a postcard that you'd almost want to throw away, but it's actually your Google password and you need that to set this up, to finish it up. Yes, um, and actually I want to say, even if you aren't reclaiming it, once we get through the process of setup, that is the final step of it, is verifying it. And that is how they verify it. They send you a postcard of it. Mm -hmm. I had to do that for our brokerage one as well. Um, so I'll go ahead and move along on the slideshow. Yeah. Obviously I had a little bit more stats for it. Yeah, what's up Alex? The um, on mine it says it's been claimed and it's and it's me, but it says request access. Uh, so I have to request an access, or I'm just not signed in. Or yeah, go ahead and request the access for it. Um, it looks like I did it a while back. 
So it says listing owners and managers can see public. Uh, it just has someone else manages this business on Google. I've got the same thing. It says that someone else manages it. Yeah. Do you have multiple Google accounts? Uh, probably. <laughs> I don't know. It, yes. it, it could very well be something like that. You could honestly just have it set up on a different Google or Gmail account. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so it, maybe look into if you have a second account that you might have started it with, and then it, maybe years later, this is now your main primary account. It, that happens. You know what I mean? When we're starting off with our business, a lot of times we'll set this type of stuff up. And then as you get further along with it, you might create a bit more of a business account or a business atmosphere that you're trying to mitigate everything over to. Mm -hmm. um, so that could be the process. And again, I'm more than happy to help out and get things going with that. Hey, Alex. Um, yes. Is there any way to merge two Google accounts? Yes, actually, there is. Okay. I mean, I know um, that's off topic. We can talk to that another I day. I, just, just I wouldn't say it's, uh, it's not off topic. Uh, it's uh, more advanced than starting it, but that's good. Um, that means that you're far, en far enough in that you're saying that you have two accounts and you want to merge them into one. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you can definitely do that. Um, I actually had to do that for one of ours as well. Um, okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll, I will get to that process. Once I get into our actual Google business suite, we can kind of poke around with some of the buttons and see more of that type of stuff. Okay. Um, and actually, I'll show you. So when you're at that page, I guess I'll just abandon the slideshow. <laughs> I was going to try to do it, but I guess not. I'll just freeform it. So when you're here, does it actually show multiple businesses for you? Uh, I, I didn't even get there. I was having, it was telling me the same thing. You have to claim access, but it's asking me to claim access from my other Google account. And I just said I would deal with that later. Got it. Okay. Um, yeah. So I would say either give it access mm -hmm. or make it your, one of your accounts, the manager that's the other option that you can kind of do with it so here i will okay, actually thank you yeah of course um so i will actually show you what it kind of looks like for hours no problem debbie you this will be recorded for everybody as you as i mentioned earlier so if anyone has the hop off or anything like that um then don't worry about it i can email you the recording afterwards we'll probably put it up on our inner circle so you'll be able to watch it there. Um, and again, I am free for anybody that needs to ask questions or get any help with any of this afterwards. Again, this is a big subject. So I expect pretty much to help everybody a little bit. Um, and also, again, it's a continued thing. So um, this is kind of not one of those subjects that's necessarily set it and forget it, like some of our stuff is. All right, so I'm on Remax Professionals. I'll click yeah, Google like Business Profile. Yeah, of course. So just a plug for you, um, for everybody else. He is like a secret weapon, you guys. I have I have asked Alex for the last two years, three years, however he's been here. He's helped me with everything from my Bouge website to my Google to Facebook <laughs> stuff. So he is amazing. So plug into him as you need him. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, so when I click on Google Business Profile for... A Remax professionals, this is what it looks like. Um, and again, like I said, there's just a ton of kind of things going on. Um, we've got surprise, McDowell, or uh, surprise, uh, and, and Glendale and Avondale. Um, and we can see our profiles on all of them. I can create posts from here. I can edit stuff and add photos. So again, this is where you want to kind of really um, this is where you get it set up so that everything that people see when they Google you, this is what they're actually seeing. Um, and then you, it'll show you the verified status right up here at the top. Um, and it kind of helps you go through it. So if it's not, if it doesn't say clicked and verified yet, don't worry, we can get it to that process or to that point. When I click on it, this is actually what it looks like in it. Um, it looks kind of busy, but it's really not too bad. And actually, a lot of the stuff on the left-hand side, it looks like there's just an insane amount of categories. A lot of them actually will just pull you to different parts of this page. Um, but from here, 
similar to a lot of our other profiles, once you get to this part of it, it's just to flesh it out as much as possible. Um, so very similar to your Mac Center profile or your Facebook or your website or any of that type of stuff. Um, you just want to get it literally just filled out as much as you can. You can put up posts at, for anything that you do. Um, the main thing on the left hand side here, you want to click info. And then this is all the very important information that I was mentioning before. And see, I can actually see that there's people when people suggest stuff, it has a pop up at the top um, because users can make things so we can hit accept. I'll look at those differently later but we can share our profile. So if I wanted to click this button, then I'm able to share it out for reviews. I can see what it looks like on Google search. I can see what it looks like on maps. Um, this is where we change the name. So Roberta, when you were in this part of it, are you, did you click, so you got into here, you were at home. Did you click on the left-hand side and click info right here? Okay, and then when you got to here, you and you click this edit button, it didn't want you to change this category. My edit space looked different. Let me go try it again. Okay, yeah. Um, so try clicking info on the left, and then after you are done right there, click that little edit button and see mm -hmm. if it looks a little bit like this or not. Mm. Yeah. It'll take me a minute. You keep going. And Monique asks uh, if it's okay to put all of the offices on your profile. Yes. So your office, your main license is going to be out of Glendale, obviously. Um, but if you want to put, are you trying to say for like location that you want to put it or just like general info? These are like the areas that you work with and everything like that. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I just kind of just to let them know that basically I can meet them, basically that I have three different offices and just for convenience for the customer is where yeah, oh, yeah. along with that. <clears throat> yeah, of course. Yeah. Like outside of my service areas, I just want them to know that, hey, you know, I have three different locations that we can meet at. Yeah. So you're, you're still going to be tied um, to the office, like MLS and IDX and all that type of stuff. So. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're okay. Um, you probably just can't put that you specialize in any of that type of stuff, but you are able to do it. Um, and also you're not, you're just putting our other offices and things that you're still tied to. You're not like, hit me up for Tucson. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, so you're good. <laughs> so you're not working like anywhere extremely outside your area of expertise or anything. No. You should be okay with that. So to that point, I sort of understood that it was important to have a singular address, that's just based on previous musings that I've heard from others. But second to that, <laughs> when you pull up my, if you type in Roberta Voss, mm -hmm. when the Google page comes up on the right, it still has me at One East Camelback, which we have not had that office for a decade. Um, inside my profile, the address is correct for 67th Avenue. Mm -hmm. And I know based on phone calls that I get that I only get phone calls, you know, the weird leads that you, you know, the random leads you get from people, you know, scrolling around the internet. I only get it based on the one East Camelback address. I don't get things from Glendale. I only get Central Phoenix calls off my Google page. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is one East Camelback is wrong and I don't know how to fix that. Okay. Um, and you said that when you're in this portion of it, your address is correct? Yes. Yeah. Looks just so like this, yours. That might be a different profile that we then have to take. No, it's, it's for sure yours. Oh yeah, it's okay. mine. It's mine and it has my reviews on it. And if you look on, yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, so Google doesn't really want you to contact a human 
Um, so I don't know if anybody's ever really kind of tried to get help from Google, but it's similar to a lot of its stuff that it's really difficult to actually get a human being. Um, but this page actually does work for a lot of that stuff. And you are able to get a chat open after going through it to a bit and they and Google can actually a human can actually sit on chat with you and help you out with stuff. So if, if you gen, if it genuinely if you have the profile, you have it changed and all that type of stuff, then we can talk to somebody and they can actually you can be like, look, it's it's good here, but it's not good here. And then they can actually change that and help with it. It is tough to get to it, but by support.google, we can kind of go through and get to a chat function. Um, and again, here, I'll actually first, right off the bat, I'll just give everybody this in the chat. Um, so if anybody has any real major issues with it that they want to talk to them, then this is where you can do it. And again, I'm not passing anybody off. I'll still help you. But sometimes, you know, we know that they have to do it. Um, and it is notoriously difficult to find where to do that, this is actually where you do it. So it's support.google.com. Um, and ag again, we can look into that a little bit more if we need to merge two profiles or if you, if you have it correct and it's not updating, then it is some type of a bug with them that they can really quickly fix. Um, and I've chatted with him on here and they're really not too bad. They're just like chatting with any of the other kind of websites and stuff like that. They're actually pretty helpful once you go. Um, but I am able to, to your point, Roberta, so I'm on Remax Professionals right here, and I can, like I said, view on maps, and when I click it as view on maps, it pops up correctly, and I can see my info for it and all this type of stuff. And then again, I can, if you're signed in and you Google your business that you're currently signed in as, you should always have a little button somewhere here that says manage your business profile. And then we'll keep looking around on here. So like I said, this is where I'm able to change the service areas and do all the service areas. Um, I'm able to put our hours. I can add additional hours, which is anything from special holidays and all that type of stuff. Uh, I believe here's some of our holiday calendar coming up. Yep, here's the one that just passed. And I got to do some of our net upcoming holiday ones. Like I got to put that we're closed for uh, whatever it was the next holiday whatever the next holiday is. And I see that people have added, what's that? President's Day, right? I think so, probably President's Day. Yeah, because we, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, and then I can see that a couple of people have done some suggested edits. That's fine. And then again, I can go through here and I can actually click edit and see if I like what they put or not. Home rentals, homes, real estate professionals near me. Looks good. So I'm going to hit the accept changes. And then again, this just brings me down to over right here on the left-hand side for services. So like I was saying, like a Facebook profile or like your Mac Center or any of this type of stuff, just work your way down that left-hand side and just fill out as much of it as possible. You want to put your call stuff. Um, we don't have any store code or anything like that. And then we can... The more that you fill this out, the further it works its way toward, um, you can then create ads on it. You can get custom emails for it. You can add a second business and link it to it. Um, there's it just, again, it keeps expanding the more that we play with it. Um, but as you're going through here, again, you just wanna fill out as much of it as you can. Um, and then it's got all kinds of suggestions for updates for you and stuff. Again, this is where we can look at our reviews and control any reviews that we've got. Thank you, Susan and Rose, by the way, for some recent ones. And then we can handle any calls that we've gotten or anything like that. I don't have call history turned on for us currently. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, actually I do. So it looks like we've got a couple missed calls. Photos, this is where you handle your photos for your business. Um, so for play, our physical location, obviously this is important for us. So we want people to know what it looks like. And I can see the views on all of it. So when I changed our new photo last year, it's now at 30,000 views. So that's simply li just living out in the Google world. Um, it's up to 30,000 views. 
in a, a year. On our pay on our specific page, if someone, I guess, if somebody was coming on here somehow to look if I'm understanding this correctly, are they in order? So if I put in a photo today, that one's going to be my first photo. And if I put in 50 of them, then it's going to go in order. You know what I'm saying? Or do they yeah, get so randomized or? So you'll be able to order them on your profile. Um, but how it pops up for people is going to kind of depend on what they're Googling for. So see how when I put it, when I click on the photos section, then it's all identified by different areas. So there's people, I could do people at work. I think uh, we might, we've got mo only exterior photos. So next time I'm there, I'll take some interior photos just because we can do it. We've got a 360, the parking lot. Um, so that's going to depend on kind of what group people are looking at for you. So here, I'll actually just kind of look you up real quick, if you don't mind, if that's okay. Um, so here's images. So obviously images for Google, it pulls just from wherever. But if I click this, oh, that's the map, my bad. Um, but if I click on this one that you got right here, that says the Voss team, then I can click on the photos for it. And then this could only fill ones that you've uploaded, which actually here's the Camelback location that you're referring to. Yep. Okay, so here's Camelback. So yeah, we can play around with this. And you've got- I, the, I, I, I never uploaded that. That's not mine. Okay, yeah. So we'll definitely have to play with your uh, Google and everything and see what's going on with it. Because for Voss team, this is what's got popping up. I think I know where this is at. Oh yeah, this is on Camelback in Central. Yeah. Right next to uh, Shake Shack. Yep. So let's see if another one pops up at all. It does. So then it goes to your website correctly and everything. Yeah. Taking you all the right stuff. Okay. So yeah. If you look at my reviews, if you look at my reviews, they're the ones that are on my my other one that I'm editing which I have two, at least they're both five stars. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> That's true. At least they're good ones. Um, but yeah, so that's why we want to get all this kind of in order. So we don't have like little uh, random flying things out there the, and all that type of stuff. Um, but I can look at Remax Professional. You don't take cash. And then, so I see mine pop up and if I click the Steve Photos button, then these are the ones that I've uploaded. We've got our, we've got my logo. We've got the old outside one, the new one, all that type of stuff. And I see the Google, the reviews, um, it's got the location. This is literally, so what we're setting up right now is literally this section on the right-hand side. And again, this all takes effect with everything that's up on the left as well. Because the more that this is popping up and the more that people are using it, that's going to affect your search engine optimization and it's going to move you further up the rankings and all that. Um, but again, so for all this, it's just once you're in this portion of it, it's just a matter of going through and filling this all out as much as possible. Um, we're putting our services. Uh, we, this is where we put our website in. And you can make one if you want to. So this was their offering to make it on Google for us. We don't need to because we already have our own, but I can put that in info. And I see Kim as a manager on here. Actually, I should probably add myself as a manager. I usually just do it on the profile. But this is where, so if you've got a transaction coordinator or somebody that does a lot of your backend stuff for you, this is a good place to add them for it. Um, like Danielle, I know that you've got your um, marketing gal. This is a, probably something that you could add her on to. So she's keeping an eye on your Google as well. Yep. And Sharon asked if we could delete photos. We can delete our own photos. Um, so if I click on it, 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 there's a trash can button up here on the right hand side. Um, so this is again in my photos button. So on the left, I clicked on photos and then I see ones that I have uploaded and I click on them. If you did not upload them, it is tougher for things to get deleted. Um, so Google's whole thing is that it's ran by everybody and all that. So I see this was actually uploaded by Adam Kelly. 
So I'm unable to delete this, but I can flag it. And then once I go through, once I flag it, it'll ask me why I'm flagging it. And then it'll look into the reasoning behind it. It's the same thing with reviews, which is kind of, it's a catch 22. When you get a review, it's pretty permanent. And also if you give a review, it's very permanent. So if anybody's out there is really mad, think about if you want to permanently give somebody a bad review or anything like that. Um, it's a bit of a pain, but it is usually possible. Um, it does help. So since we're a brokerage, sometimes we get things that are issue like sometimes it's stuff that they're looking at a specific agent type of thing. We can try to flag that and put that it's a conflict of interest because we're not them. Um, sometimes you, you might just get a spam. There are weird people out there. I've gotten some weird spam reviews on our brokerage one that are people that have never been inside of the brokerage and have never dealt with any of you wonderful people. It's really weird. I don't really understand the reason why people will do stuff like that, but you can just hit flag as inappropriate. And then once you do that, again, it'll ask why it's inappropriate and you can put has nothing to do with this business, has never had business with this business, etc. And then Google will review it and tell you if they take it down or if they leave it up. If they leave it up, you can continue it to try the process to see if you can get it down. Again, there's like roughly 10 different reasonings for why you can flag it as inappropriate. If, you, if it's genuinely not something that should be on there, then you can keep trying to flag it as the different stuff to see if it's gonna get taken down. If it is just a bad review that is by an old client type of thing, then your best bet actually is to just reply and just talk to them directly and see if you can't change the situation and change the process. And then maybe they can come and leave you a good review on it. Um, it's tough. Google reviews are very tough with that. The permanency of, make, of it makes them kind of difficult to handle sometimes, but it is possible. And also this is why you kind of want to keep an eye on this type of stuff. So then that way you're not out there just kind of, if you had a bad month or something like that, you don't want a bunch of people just bombarding you or any of that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, so actually this one I've been trying to get off for like a year because that's a gal that she had nothing to do with the brokerage. And I can actually see, remember, again, everything on Google is public. <laughs> this is all public info. Um, none of this is private. That we are actually putting it out there for the public to find. And it's the same with your profile and all the people commenting on it. So any of these people, you can see, if you don't think you've had any business with them, you can click on their profile and you can see what they've done and all that type of stuff. Um, and yeah, this girl, I've been trying to get it flagged, but she gave us a single review. She's not in the state. Uh, she hasn't done any work with us. And she, from what I can tell, has like some real issues going on. So it's, it's weird, but it's doable. And again, this is another one that we are actually able to reach out to support on chat over there if we need to. And you can let them know what's going on with it. And then they can actually help from a real human standpoint. Google's so big that if they if you're able to fix it, they really want you to fix it. Um, so they kind of try to not get you to reach out again. But that support button that I put in the chat will allow everybody to actually reach out to them. And did we? How's everybody doing along with it? Have we gotten some people that were able to get their Google up? Have we gotten some that were able to make some changes on it? How's everybody kind of doing with it? What do you got there? How long does it show up? How long does it take before it shows up after you create it? The business profile? Mm -hmm. uh, it could be anything from a couple of minutes to maybe an hour or two. It just kind of takes things a second sometimes. Um, you're basically creating it out in the ether. And then even so, it'll take a second for it to show up on here. And then once it shows up on here, it'll take a second for things to move through the Google atmosphere. Um, how's everybody? Is it anybody else having any issues? Jen, you doing okay? I know you've already got a bit of a presence out there. Um, and Cindy, I know you've got a great one going on. Everybody feeling okay with it? Mine's up. Uh... Mine just keeps me, uh, it finds me and then it says ma uh, manage it and then it just takes me around and you know, it has me, uh, sends me to confirm it's me and it just takes me around circles, you know. It's, 
you know, just keeps taking me around circles for some reason. Got it. So it wants you to make you the manager of it. And then again, that could just be, um, if you click on right here up on the top. So I can actually, if you click on <clears throat> your Google account button right there, it, it'll show you again, if you're on Chrome and any of that type of stuff, it might show you any actual other accounts that you have that you can look at. Um, where do so I click might, it? Where do I click? This, this is go ahead and do so just on any Google page that you're on, click your photo up on the top right that says Google account. Oh, oh okay. Um, and it, when you click on that, is there more than one or is, is are, are you, does it just have manage your Google account and then sign out of account or an ad? Well, I just had me d uh, download Google Chrome, so let me go oh, back. Okay. In. okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, and like Sarah said earlier, some of this stuff is going to look a little bit different if you're like do if you're going through Google on Safari, um, if you're on Chrome on uh, not a Mac, all that sort of stuff. But it is all doable, and you can absolutely have. Google profile, Google suite, and all that type of stuff on Mac. Good Nick, question, how you doing? Alex. Um, yeah. So I noticed I was able to get to this page. I requested access for myself. Mm -hmm. I think what I was doing, and I don't know, Alex, if um, this is what's happening to you. I was first, I was pushing that button that there's two buttons that says manage now. One is at the top right hand corner, and then one was like right, that one up there. Mm -hmm. So when I clicked that one up at the top, it, it it seemed like it was taking me around in circles. So I I pressed the other one, and I was able to actually request it for myself. So Perfect. I'm at that page now. But okay. I noticed the pictures are just like that generic little picture. Is there any way that I can just go to Remax's page and put the Remax like that aerial view that looks really nice? Just save that and just add that to my photos. Yeah, so you wanted to use this photo as like your business uh, yes, cover or, photo? Yeah, you know, there's yeah. a couple of other pictures that look better than the generic one that's on mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so that's just a matter of uh, permissions. So since this is actually our photo, mm -hmm. if you wanted to put it as like um, your kind of main photo and main base to showcase that this is where your brokerage is out of, mm -hmm. yeah, that's fine. Um, and then on the, so on the flip side, if you had a logo, I would probably put like the logo as your main photo. Um, like Roberta, she could probably set hers to be, um, once we get, once we get rid of that camelback photo, we, <laughs> we can put her logo as her main photo that pops up for everything. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, so whichever one you want, um, if you want your primary photo to be at the office, then absolutely. And that's the, okay. you could either, so because it's me giving you permission for it. Mm -hmm. If you were to Google it and then literally just click the button and then just write save this, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, so you can write, click and save it. Okay. Or do that whole process. Or if you'd like, I can actually just send it to you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, oh, cool. I'll just send it to you. I don't mind. Um, Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Uh, but again, so that's where you want to make sure that you're in there as Monique Reed Remax Professionals. Um, if you okay. go through and you try to put just Remax professionals and then especially with a photo and everything, it's going to try to be like, all right, are you trying to take the business, et cetera, et cetera. Um, okay. Yeah. And you can say no. So it's never, if anybody that I should probably, uh, we're talking about claiming businesses and reclaiming businesses and all that. I should probably put out as you make this and after you make it, if anybody tries to do that to you, you can say no. Um, you'll get a notification and you'll get an email and all kinds of stuff that's like this person is trying to either claim the business as theirs or is trying to add themselves as a manager to it. And it'll ask if you want to allow them to do either of those processes. Um, so I can see when you guys accidentally are trying to take hours, et cetera. Um, and it's, it's simple. It's literally you just hit no and then that's it. That's the end of it. <laughs> um, so don't worry about after you're making this, um, once we get it to this point, this is when it's really easy to control and then nobody's gonna be able to take your stuff. That's why we wanna get it kind of to this point. And that's why we wanna claim any of those like kind of ghost ones that are floating out there or any of that type of stuff. Um, what's up, Alex? I see you might have a question. No, I don't, no. Cool, I apologize. Um, but yeah, 
so again, uh, I know I know this is a lot. And how about well, Sarah? I think this would be good to make it a more regular thing, um, so that we can a make sure everybody is at the good starting point with it, and then even from there we can look at issues and any of that type of stuff and do a bit more deep dives on it. And I think we should probably do a beginners and then a more advanced. So people who already have their Google account set up and then the word of the new features and how do we really squeeze the orange with that? So I agree. Less um, and brand new. So <laughs> but then there's people <laughs> like Danielle that are rocking it. So I think we can have different levels for different. I agree. I agree. Um, this was just, uh, we wanted to see um, what people wanted, how people are doing. Uh, so Sharon said, how do you make a photo your primary? So if I click on the photos button, um, there should be a couple of them that ask for suggestions. So, and also when you're uploading the photos, it'll have options. I'm actually not going to click that button. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when you're clicking it, it should ask what you want to designate it as. When you are doing this top portion right here, um, that should be part of it as well. Um, so you add the photos by clicking this plus sign on the right hand side. It'll ask what the photo is of as you're adding it. And then there are a couple. So there should be just a cover one right here where it literally it says like change your cover photo. Um, and then there should be one that says logo that you'll actually just change your logo photo. I encourage then, you guys on the video to use the new some of the new Remax commercials. I don't know if you guys have watched them, but the one with the elderly couple moving in with the family, like that one gets me in the feels and it literally takes like less than 30 seconds to go in and create it. So I think that'd be a great spot to put something like that in here on your Google, your business. So, and, and you know, I've, I've sat in on several different uh, webinars and, you know, listened to different podcasts. I wish there were more of us on here because this is, you know, this is the place that we need to be putting our reviews and pushing people to. You know, it used to be Zillow, right? Because that was the place we put it. Well, Zillow, we don't want to do it there anymore. And this even trumps, you know, Facebook and places like that. So, you know, think about Google's become a household name. So um, I think, and Alex, we definitely need to maybe have this quarterly. And then yeah, absolutely. More advanced deep dives into it. Sarah? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Well, I, I tried that. Um, and it uh, Google rejected it because your contact information can't be on the video. Oh, okay. And so, the, well, and then Sharon just pointed out that videos have to be less than 60 seconds. So it would have to be one of the short spots as well. Yeah, it was a short spot, but it just yeah. it kicked it out. And I see it's still Can on you? there, but I, I just did, I always do the learn more. Uh, button and then put my website on there so they can just go to that perfect yeah. see that's that a great workaround great. yeah on, on your google page like when you have your website then you can go in uh, to your remax website or whatever and then look you could even find even more reviews and your videos and everything so it all ties together so like your instagram it'll like link into that too so it's all it's all pretty cool this is like a yep, yep. point yep alex i have a quick question on um hmm. Google post then if I post an update, um, does it use hashtags or not? I mean, would that help? Do hashtags help or not? Probably not. Not as much on this one as some of the other ones. So hashtags really help for Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that, because then it becomes part of that grouping. So then uh, if you do a hashtag on Instagram and then you click on that hashtag, you'll show up within that grouping of every hashtag or everyone that's used that hashtag. So it's another way to find it. Google doesn't work quite like that because the posts aren't necessarily a post for a social media. It's more like a post of like an update type of thing. Um, so like our post actually kind of just expired. Um, but when I put it up, basically uh, it pops up right here. So see how there's updates from Remax professionals. So when I changed our math, policy and like the vaccination policy and stuff like that for the brokerage, it popped up right there. It was like, okay, um, masks required for non-vaccinated, et cetera, et cetera, all that type of stuff. So that's where your posts actually show up on here, not so much on like a singular, well, I mean, this is a platform, but not a platform in the sense of like Facebook and, and Instagram are, um, not a platform that's for communicating so much as for getting information out there that makes sense. Great question. And also, Danielle, you're 
clearly off to the races with all these. I commend you. Good job. Um, it's been a long time to, coming. It's, take, it's taken me about a year. So. Well, and that's what. So this is and to to that point. If anybody doesn't feel like this is set and all that kind of stuff yet, that's okay. Again, this is a very big thing, um, and not everybody even has this going on. That's why actually we want to take control of this. It's, we know Google's not going anywhere. Google's gonna rule the world for the foreseeable future. Um, and then for us to be able to literally control our information and what is known about us on Google is a, a, a clear, uh, just an invaluable business asset. Um, there, it's good, like, as Sarah said, and as a lot of the marketing for this class said, it is genuinely probably one of the best things that you can do for your business. And it's also not going to be a single hour, a single morning type of thing. Um, for me, even for the brokerage to get these three profiles all set together um, and all verified took months of work. And it took several postcards in the mail, which again is just the weirdest thing. Alex? Um, yes. I have a question. What's so that? I don't know about the rest of you, but I get a couple calls a day from Google saying I need to set up my business account. So if I go in and do some other stuff in there, will I stop getting those calls or are those just coming from a different source? There are, there are, what, what was that? I, I, I think it's spam because I still get them. Yeah, a lot of it's probably just going to be spam and robo calls. And if you have your phone number listed out just in the ether like this, especially on Google where it's attached to various buttons that you can just click a call button, you're just, there's going to be some spam calls. I get spam calls just because I exist on the internet and in the life and I don't have my business profile set up. So just the more that you're out there the more of that kind of bot calls and stuff you're going to get because they aren't necessarily humans or anything differentiating why they're calling you. It's just a program that's going through something specific. Maybe it's just a program that's, you know, geo-targeting people and calling them. So it could just be something that, yeah, you could literally, it's just because you have your zip code up there and a button that says, call me at some point, a program is going to end up calling you. Very annoying, but well, what can we do about it? Um, and then uh, I saw who was it? I think it was Monique mentioned. Yeah, so Monique said that her reviews are on Zillow. Again, that's okay. Um, we don't want to. It's good to have all of our stuff spread out anywhere, everywhere. Um, we don't necessarily not want our reviews or to have a Zillow profile because all of it builds up into your search engine optimization. That's SEO. So I'm sure you guys have seen SEO around. That's literally how high you rank on Google. So the more things out there that you have like that, the more stuff that you're going to have appear on Google search and various other things. So it's so good to have your reviews on Zillow. We just can't control it as much. And it's not as important as all the ones here on Google, because anything that's in Google is going to move itself up higher and faster than anything that's on a third party website. Um, but to your question, to get more reviews, so you'll go into your Google or into your uh, Google business suite and you're on the main page right here. You can scroll down and you can either, if you want to click manage reviews button right here or get more reviews immediately below it. So there's a button that says get more reviews, share your business profile and get new reviews. If I click this button, it gives me this link and then I can click it and it's automatically copied it from just from just clicking it. And then from there, I can actually send this out to people. Um, so this is a bit more of an advanced part of it than just setting up the profile. But once we get to this point, we can, when we send this link out to people and they open it, it'll take it immediately to your review section and it'll suggest to write it and leave a review. So they won't have to search for you. They won't have to click reviews once they have searched for you. And it's not even just sending them your profile. This is sending them a link directly to your reviews, asking for a review from them. So this is perfect for a closing email. Um, this is the type of thing that you can put in your email signature. Um, if you've got a, if you wanted to do like a booze campaign 
or whatever CRM that you use. If you wanted to do a campaign that's like, that's to your current sphere of influence, that's like, hey, you know me, you love me, I've helped you for years. I'm trying to grow my Google business profile a little bit. Would you mind leaving me a review of last time we worked together? However, kind of however you want to do it. But the point is that this single link will send whoever you want to go and give you a review immediately to your reviews. So this is actually going to be probably one of your most helpful tools once we get the profile all set up. Um, because again, we want to get as many reviews as we can, because that's going to help push you up further and further. And it's going to help your profile be the one that's recommended, recommended over other ones. Uh, Jen, Jen coming through clutch. I knew, I knew one of you guys would. Um, so Jen said, here's my templated review for Google reviews. And you can read it. She put it up in the chat for everyone. Congratulations again. Thank you so much for choosing me to be a part of your real estate journey. I hope you enjoyed the experience as much as I did. So much of my business comes directly from referrals. So your testimonial would mean a lot to me. Your review also helps potential clients Find someone they can trust in a confusing world of real estate. I would really appreciate your recommendation here. And it gives the link. Beautiful. That is, yeah, that is awesome. Great, Jen. Thank you very much for that. Um, so literally anything like that. Um, this is, you're just able to send it out and then it goes directly to it. That's great. If anybody else has any kind of like little helpful tools or any of that type of stuff, um, feel free to share with everybody. And that also works perfectly to, uh, to Sarah's point that we'll do a bit more of an intermediate class with some of this stuff because Jen and Danielle, you guys obviously have done a lot of work within the last like year, two years, couple of years of getting all this together. And it, it shows, I'm, I'm proud of all you guys. And you guys that are starting all this from the scratch, again, this is not necessarily an easy thing, but it's an important thing. Um, and it's just one of the, it's similar to all of our other tech stuff where if, if you're going at it for too long, you'll get, you'll get annoyed at it. You'll start running into roadblocks. Um, so everyone that takes all my stuff regularly, what's my favorite analogy? It's like the gym. You don't go to the gym all day long. You only go for a little bit at a time. And it's the same thing with this. Um, so when we're starting the process, we, first thing we want to do is just go through and kind of get it set up. Um, uh, see, so it's verified, but since I okayed those edits, it's now going to tell me that it's pending with things. So anytime you do anything, it's going to change little stuff here and there. Oh, and then Danielle's got some other great advice. Um, she said, I add, if I, you feel I've given you five-star service, please leave me a review. I like that. Just in Mary. case you somebody off, you don't want them leaving a review. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, so that's what I was saying. It's up to you if you want it to be in your signature or if you would rather it be just a specific email that you send to who you want to send it to. <laughs> well, to that, to that point, I'd just be curious of the people who are on the call. When you send out and ask for reviews, you know, the majority of my transactions are good for sure, but if you knew it was a terrible transaction, would you still send and ask for a review? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, probably I mean, I wouldn't. suspect they're all generally pretty good and the people we're working with, you know, but sometimes, you know, yeah. You were all great agents and you're all great human beings that I know personally and I can attest to that. That doesn't mean that everybody else that we always work with are going to be, so. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's some people you can't please. The ones that uh, I'm not sure, I sent them to, to give me the review in, in writing. I sent them a blank letter with a uh, self-addressed envelope. And, and it's surprising that, you know, they seem like they were like, you know, nothing pleased them. And uh, and yet uh, I got a good review in the, in the writing, you know. So <laughs> it's just hard to figure people out sometimes. Yeah. Well, and I mean, what you meet some people sometimes that you're like, I don't think this person likes me. And then afterwards, it turns out they really did. They're just, yeah, you know, just, they had a dry <laughs> personality. <laughs> it happens. I fire off a lot of jokes. Sometimes I get people that are just giving me blank faces. I understand. <laughs> cool. Um, so again, we're at an hour now. Um, we kind of been poking around. Um, 
if anybody has any kind of other questions that we want to look at and take a look around and poke around, we can. Um, I don't want to overwhelm anybody more than I already have. <laughs> I know, again, that this was a pretty big class. And the roadblocks for this are going to be different for everybody. Like what Roberta is going through, not necessarily anybody else is going to have to. It's not like some of our other apps, like if Facebook, if you don't have a comment post, there's only like three other reasons that it can be. This is, again, has a lot going on and everyone's going to have some type of a challenge with it at some point. And there, it might be different for you from others, but it's all workable. We'll get around all of it. And this is a good, helpful and important tool for your business, especially for in the future. Um, again, any other questions or anybody want to see anything, poke anything out? Thanks, Alex. This was great. And we'll definitely just, we'll work together on creating some more classes on this topic, you guys. But if there's anything specific that you want, definitely send me or Alex an email. That way we can address it. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and to anybody, that, to people that have asked about just me helping individually, literally, once this hits end, email me. I am, I am your resource. You guys all know that. Every, everybody on this call has probably, I've talked to at least one or two times. You know, I am always more than willing to help out and do whatever I can. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Alex. You guys of have course. a great day. Thanks, so I, you too. So, Alex, I'm going to ask you my question right now. It is it possible? Because I just did the verify my page. Do you, I'll wait five days before I dink around with Google. Yeah. On helping, but I'm wondering if because I've not verified my page, that maybe that's why the addresses haven't changed. it could be it could be yeah it absolutely could be once Maybe. you get that verification letter yeah it, it kind of makes a lot of stuff click into space right. and all that type of stuff like i said i had so when i started um playing around with ours i think we had a roughly five different profiles because i had to claim one or two of them and then once i claimed one or two of them i had to merge them in with another one and all that type of stuff um, and I had to, just like you did, I had to wait for a postcard. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> the most Very weird that the, the largest most advanced entity tech company on the planet I know. wants to send you a postcard. <laughs> the post office must have bribed them. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah. They're who's keeping it in business. <laughs> well, I think I'll just, I'm going to wait until I get that okay. postcard and see if somehow it all links up before I... Yeah, yeah. For, for well, and then right. again, a similar, like I've said, you don't necessarily, we've all gone in here and I could tell everybody was poking around and doing things on it today. Be done with this for today. This is a right. lot. You guys have your business exactly. and you've got your work that you've got to do. You had a great start. You, we literally were on here for an hour. You're, you're good with it for today. You did yep. an hour of Google work. That's more than almost 80% of people do. Right. So call it, you're good for the day. Um, if you're waiting on a verification thing, don't do it. Well, there's no real point in doing too much of it until you actually can and it keeps and all that type of stuff. Yeah. So you're absolutely right. Yeah. Um, okay. Keep it as you are comfortable. We want to be comfortable with all this. Um, you shouldn't, you've got enough with your actual business going on that things like this, you don't want to work on it to the point where you're getting angry or uncomfortable or falling down rabbit hole. You know what I mean? Um, it's yeah, it's about an ease type of thing. Um, it's where you're comfortable with it at all. Right. Um, and thank you all of you guys again. You all of you are super great at your business, and I love uh, the sharing that you guys all do with each other and with me and everything. You quiet, Jen. It's you laughing you're, over there. You're too sweet, <laughs> too sweet, Alex. We have no idea what the heck we're doing. <laughs> that is it, that's not true because I see all of you guys' rankings and I also see all of your guys' online presence and you're all doing great. Even from, again, just from starting it today to you guys that have your reviews section that you send out, all that type of stuff. It's great and I love seeing how much all of you guys try and how much you're putting yourself forward with all this stuff. So again, I'm more than willing to help out for anything, um, but call it good for the day. You guys did a ton. Pop back in and play around with it as the week goes. Well, today's Thursday. Maybe do it one more time tomorrow and then chill out for the weekend and pop back in on Monday, see what else you can do. Um, but everybody, if anyone needs anything, 
email me, call me, you know I'm here for you. Thanks, Alex. No problem. Um, again, thank you everybody for coming. I think that's probably good though. Uh, it's 10, 15, I'm surprised we did that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Alex. I'll send you an email. Got it. Bye everybody. Bye.